الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we will talk about biosynthesis of adrenocortical hormones and our references in the physiology So let's start بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The first thing that we have to know that our precursor, uh, our precursor molecule is cholesterol and it is the most important uh, molecule to synthesize all steroids in our body and one of the uh, or some of the steroids are aldosterone and cortisol and androgen hormones which are synthesized by adrenal uh, cortex so uh, the first thing that uh, when there is a stimulus by ACTH which is produced by uh, pituitary gland which uh, there is a stimulus by hypothalamus to produce it. ACTH stimulate cholesterol dysmolase. But before that, when the stimulus is, become, is, um, is coming, cholesterol, which is in the cell and it, is, it was in uh, vesicles, when the stimulus is, uh, came, uh, the cholesterol in vesicles goes to the mitochondria. In mitochondria, there is some modifications of cholesterol uh, to enhance cholesterol dysmolase uh, action or effect on cholesterol, which is done by cytochrome P450. Sorry for the place. Okay. If it's not clear, cytochrome P450. So cytochrome P450 enhances the effect of cholesterol dysmolase to convert cholesterol to pregnenolone. So pregnenolone, uh, we, uh, now we will uh, start by mineralocorticoids pathway to synthesize aldosterone and also mineralocorticoids. So cholesterol by cholesterol dysmolase is converted to pregnenolone Pregnenolone is converted to progesterone by the enzyme 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase. So, then progesterone is converted to 11 deoxycorticosterone, which is its abbreviation DLC doc, by the enzyme 21 beta hydroxylase. This enzyme very important as it's um, uh, in uh, many autoimmune diseases in adrenal cortex. So, 11 deoxycorticosterone is converted to corticosterone sterone, sorry, by 11 beta hydroxylase. Also, this enzyme is very important um, in uh, many uh, diseases affecting the adrenal cortex. Corticosterone, uh, in this step, corticosterone has a gluco corticoglucosteroid so it has glucocorticoids effect and also mineralocorticoids uh, now the synthesis is stopping here when there is a stimulus, other stimulus other than ACTH for example a, uh, extracellular fluids uh, changes uh, as it's uh, hypovolemia or hypotension or a changing in sodium or potassium concentration there is a stimulus for this enzyme aldosterone synthase aldosterone synthase convert the corticosterone to aldosterone this is the rate limiting step which is stimulated by angiotensin 2 by renin angiotensin 2 system RAS renin angiotensin 2 system so uh, this uh, enzyme is only found in the third uh, layer zona, uh, zona glomerulosa uh, so as it is found only in this layer so the other layers zona fasciculata and reticulosa cannot uh, synthesize aldosterone hormone as it uh, does not have uh, aldosterone synthase so now we are uh, done from the aldosterone uh, pathway moving to the second pathway for the glucocorticoids now starting from cholesterol as you said here all these steps by cholesterol dysmolase it is converted to brignu 
uh, Brigny Nulon. Uh, wait, let's change the color. So, it is converted to uh, Brigny Nulon. Brigny Nulon, it's either complete to for progesterone and all these things to aldosterone pathway or converted to 17 hydroxy brignolone by 17 alpha hydroxylase or brignolone can complete to form progesterone then progesterone by the same enzyme here is converted to 17 hydroxy progesterone so these are two steps are this either they are similar but uh, and all, all, also the enzymes we uh, we we uh, we need are the, the same. Seventeen alpha hydroxylase and three beta hydroxysteroid are the same here and here, here and here. Okay, three beta hydroxylase dehydrogenase can convert seventeen hydroxybrignilolone to seventeen hydroxybrogesterone if we start from brignilolone or um, 3 beta hydroxysteroid can convert brignilolone to progesterone uh, to 17 hydroxybrogesterone. So now we are uh, done from these two steps, which are the similar. Uh, now 17 hydroxybrogesterone is converted to 11 deoxycortisol by the enzyme 21 beta hydroxylase. We note that this enzyme is the same in this enzyme. So this the pathway until here are the same or similar as we uh, use the same enzymes. Uh, 11 deoxycortisol is converted to cortisol finally by 11 beta hydroxylase, which uh, 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 add the uh, hydroxy group on C carbon 7, uh, carbon 11, sorry. So the same enzyme also here. We uh, found the same enzymes here. So until this step, all this uh, moving to aldosterone uh, pathway, all of these uh, this step can be happen in uh, the layer, the second layer, which is uh, fasciculata. Except the uh, step for the this enzyme aldosterone synthase, which is found only in glomerulosa. So uh, now uh, we see that cortic corticosterone has the similar effect of glucocorticoids. So when this, uh, when the pathway of glucocorticoids is blocked, we won't be die. Why won't we die? Because uh, in other uh, pathway for mineralocorticoids, corticosterone have some effects of glucocorticoids. That's why it is uh, okay because uh, we won't lose the effects of cortisol or glucocorticoids. Moving to the third uh, pathway, which is for androgens, starting from the same cholesterol, brignilolone, 17 hydroxy brignilolone. Now, starting the new steps 17, 20 lyase, converted, convert 17 hydroxy brignilolone to dehydro apiandrosterone or uh, the same as we said here in cortisol uh, brigni, uh, brignilolone converted to progesterone and the same pathway or, uh, enzymes are here until now 17 20 lyase uh, let's change the color 17 20 lyase uh, convert 70 hydroxy progesterone to androstenedione. So here are the same enzymes here, but uh, they are uh, acting on the different molecules. So uh, from here, dehydroepiandrosterone uh, uh, converted to androstenedione. Androstenedione by three beta hydroxysteroids. This step use the same enzyme, three beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase uh, to make androstenedione. Androstenedione is converted to testosterone. 
pentacysterine converted to 17 beta estradiol which is estrogen so usually uh, for the androgens in adrenal cortex uh, they uh, end the majority end uh, uh, in these two in uh, hormones then the conversion of these hormones to testosterone is happened in testis in male of course um so that's it for the biosynthesis uh we just mentioned so we will mention some steps about the steps maybe that the uh, colis or uh, glucocorticoids and androgen we can uh, synthesize it in fasciculata and reticularis layer uh, but aldosterone we cannot synthesize it in fasciculata and reticularis layer because this hormone aldosterone synthase is found only in the glomerulosa uh, layer and also we will mention that uh, the uh, glucocorticoids and androgens hormones the main stimulus air uh, is for ACTH but aldosterone or mineralocorticoids the main stimulus is changing in a extracellular fluid uh, uh, for the hypovolemia and sodium and potassium level and also the same the main one is angiotensin 2 uh, as uh, as a result of uh, changes in extracellular fluid um that's it for the synthesis just now we will mention some uh some notes that my uh, might uh might yeah but sorry okay i think it will take a long time to erase all of these steps but don't worry okay we'll use a different color now so if there is a block in uh, the synthesis of grignenolone so it will result in death why? Because we won't have all of these hormones, we won't have it. Mineral corticoids, glucocorticoids, androgens, we won't have it. So, and uh, if there is a block also in this enzyme, 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase, it will result also in death because also we don't have um, these hormones. And also, if there is a blockage in this enzyme, also it will result in death uh, we also mean uh, we of course mean uh, this uh, all these steps 21 beta hydroxylase is the same 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase is the same here also uh, so and also here if there is a blockage also here uh, it will result in death there is a pharmacological uh, drug which uses this step to to block the uh, aldosterone synthesis by the drug um, metyropone. It is used in case of hyperaldosteronemia, uh, uh, so it it block uh, eleven beta hydroxylase. Um, and also, as we said, if there is a block here in this step in 17 alpha hydroxylase, that we won't have cortisol or androgens, uh, especially in men. Uh, it's okay, and there is no death will be result. Uh, why? Because we have a glucocorticoids effect by gluc sorry by corticosterone, as we mentioned before. Um, and that's it for the synthesis uh, of adrenocortical hormones. I hope it is uh, helpful for you. Thank you very much.